for important tools for analyzing this sector. Sign up today on TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. I have posted a chart up here of an ETF called WTAI, which is some type of a wisdom tree artificial intelligence ETF. And as you can see here, over this past year and a half, uh, it is now back to the 382 retracement. Now, I'm not the sharpest knife in the drawer but I'm certainly not the dullest. I want to tell you something, folks. Why isn't this thing going wacko? I mean, are they are they in the wrong ones? I mean, how could you be in not in, in NVIDIA and Avco and Microsoft and uh, Amazon? And, and I mean, how can they not be in that? I mean, how can someone explain this to me? I, I don't understand it, but uh, someone asked me, should I buy this stuff? And I says, uh, well, you, you can buy anything you want as long as you put a stop on it. But my question is, why? It, there's got to be a reason. I just don't know what that reason is. But when I see this chart, I said, gee, I better take a look at this because these guys are pretty smart to bring out these ETFs and stuff. And uh, even though that Mr. Buffett thinks they're called uh, weapons of mass destruction, whether that's true or not, will probably be never found in my lifetime. But... I'm just curious about why that's happening. Those of you that might know, drop me an email, Larry at tradingtutor.com. I'd just like to know what that is. I haven't researched which stocks are in that. All I did was I saw the uh, early this morning on Bloomberg, I saw the uh, picture of the, uh, in the what is it, not the picture, but the um, advertisement for it. And I just wanted to uh, bring it to your attention because uh, we're having another big, big move here. Uh, in the NASDAQ, the Dow Jones is lagging, the Russell is lagging, the S&P is up near, in fact, it's a little above where we sold it. We sold it, hold on, let's get this up here so we can take a quick look at it. We've had a very, very good day here at Trade What You See. We took a uh, $36 profit in uh, the short gold. Uh, we took a $500 profit in the long euro, and we're up about $1,000 in the uh, natural gas. So those are the ones that uh, we were in. And, of course, we sold this at uh, 4296 And we're using a 20-point stop on that because it is quite volatile. But uh, it's, uh, you know, that it's a completed pattern. It might fail. And, that's, and if it does, it does. That's all there is to it. I don't have any control over it. Nobody else does either. The one thing I learned from working with Mark Douglas here all these years is forget the last trade that you did that was wrong or the last one that was right. It has nothing to do with what's happening next. So, you know, don't even do it. What happened is people, they, they, uh, they get involved with a previous loss or a previous profit, and they think that's what's going to happen next or what they did right or what they did wrong. Heck, I don't know what that you know, that doesn't affect the trading at all. I'm a short term trader, I admit that. I make a living at this. You know, I'm not I'm not gonna be a person that tells you to buy Nvidia at three and sell it at three thousand. You know, I'm gonna tell you to buy it at four and tell you it at four thousand. If you believe any of that, look folks, this is all about how much money you have to risk to find out whether you're right or not. That's all. We had Bob Miner on as our guest. Let me just bring this chart up. I wanted to bring this up because it was very important. It was right when the earnings came out, of, or not earnings, but the uh, that fantastic jobs report where everybody was looking for a job, had one. But you notice that notice each time we had these job reports, we were near a major spot here in the market. And that's all I'm looking at. I mean, I don't know what the top is going to be in the uh, uh, NASDAQ, I mean, my goodness, the, the one I saw a little while ago, 
uh, it was uh, trading at uh, almost uh, 14,700. It got to 14,694. And if you remember, a week ago last uh, Sunday, I said it looked like a fabulous sale at 143.60. Now, that's 300 handles. Hello, operator. 300 handles lower. Hello. Let's try it again. Higher than we were before. So that's why we're paying attention to these things, because when they move, they move quite dramatically. And that's what we're trying to find out is when they do move, we try to catch some of them. We're not going to catch all of them. We're going to miss some of them. But that's what it's all about. It's not about how much money you make. It's about how much money you don't lose. We had a really nice move in that gold market. We told you about the 382 last week, and it worked really great. The one statistic that I think you've got to remember, and that's this one that I'm going to bring up to you. Nobody pays attention to this, but to me, it's very, very important. And that is this chart that shows you that of the S&P 500, 493 of these are not doing too well. But seven really are. Tesla, Amazon, Google, uh, NVIDIA, uh, what's the other one? Uh, Apple. And I can't remember the third. Tesla, those are the ones. Those seven stocks account for, look at that. They account for almost all of the movement in the S&P 500, those seven stocks. So remember, when you're, when you're in the market, pay attention to those seven stocks because, you know, they've got this thing coming out with Apple today. It's their big uh, brouhaha with, uh, I don't know what, what they do with the promote all the stuff that's coming out, all the wonderful things, and they are wonderful things. But, uh, you know, I'm not looking at that. I'm just looking at the price action of what the stocks are doing, and that's all I'm looking at. And, and I'm not involved in the short side of Apple. I didn't, or the long side. I was involved in the long side. I will show you where I was involved with the long side, and that was down here. Let me get this up here. This was back on April the 26th when we were in Las, uh, Las Vegas for the money show. And right there is where we had a beautiful 382 retracement there at 163. And I said, you know, it looks like a pretty good buy. And of course now it is at 180, almost 185. I'm not involved in that. And, but that's, that's, uh, that's neither here nor there. I just wanted to show you what the patterns are looking like to, to give an idea. If you have any questions, it's 877-927. 6648 and we'll certainly try you know to answer them for us but that's all we're trying to do so we'll take a little break here uh maybe not i don't know no we've got a whole minute and a half i hit the wrong side of the clock sorry folks all right let's take a look at someone that asked a question uh about the uh price of a uh, corn and that the corn price just keeps uh keeps on trucking up folks uh we uh got out of that uh, way too soon was a nice profit, but uh, it's continued to go up. We're waiting to rebuy it. All the grains are strong this morning. They've uh, been actually well, not all of them. The uh, July soybeans are down just a tiny little bit. November's are tiny little bit, but wheat is up. Uh, even actually, corn's backed off a little bit. Gee, that's backed off 14 cents. That's good. Maybe we'll get a chance to uh, get our buy price in because we've got an order in to try to buy the uh, corn. But over, overall, it has been a good weekend and everything. Uh, but, you know, not every day is going to be good. Not every day is going to be bad. You know, it's just a matter of, you know, picking the patterns that you like and we'll go from there. So we'll be right back. We're going to be talking about crude oil. Very important. We have exciting news, Tigers. This June, Tim Ord of the Ord Oracle will be hosting two webinars, providing insight into his renowned market timing methodologies. On June 8th, Tim will delve into the S&P 500, teaching sentiment indicators, identifying market bottoms and divergence, and so much more. On June 15th, Tim pivots to the gold market, taking a look at cycle analysis, ratio studies, advanced decline indicators, and other important tools for analyzing this sector. Sign up today on TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex report. 
Teddy Kegstaff breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more. And he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30 year T bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive. He just hosted Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating Investors. Now, toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 873 7618. Okay, folks, I posted a chart here of the crude oil. And as you know, the Saudis have dropped their uh, production again, trying to keep prices, uh, you know, really firm. We, we had a 35 percent drop in gasoline prices here over the weekend here uh, in Tucson. But now with the market jumping up, who knows what's going to happen. But remember what happened the last time that they did this. And remember, there's nothing new under the sun. But let's take a look at what really happened. Here is the price of crude oil when we going back uh, two months ago, which was April when they played their, uh, their last little game that they played. But basically what is happening with this thing, it's not so much about oil, folks. It's the fact that the Saudis are basically spitting in the face of the United States government. They really are. Because, you know, we provide them with all kinds of uh, safety militarily of course and now you can see what they're doing is, is they're trying to make these petrodollars you know everybody buys in gold uh, in uh, US dollars they're going to try to make it into a Uranian uh, uh, currency a Russian rubles whatever it happens to be but uh, that's what's basically happening from my good sources over there in London have told me that that's what's going on so I can imagine that now we've had a little bit of a tiny bit of a back off in the US dollar, uh, the euro did bounce off the 61% retracement. But what you want to be watching now is the fact that if they take uh, petrodollars off, in other words, they start converting uh, oil from US dollars, because it's always priced in US dollars, then that is going to be a really, really big deal. I've been asked to talk about uh, 
the fact that the you know the Chinese things with the games that they play with their jets and the the boats and all that stuff, folks, that doesn't enter that doesn't enter enter enter, enter into what I think about. I look at a chart. I see the bar, the the bars. Okay, that's all I really need to know. If my if the market's going up, there's more buyers. If the market's going down, there's more sellers. Within the context of those bars, are patterns that I can use to trade, and I know how to use them. I teach people how to use them, and they can be learned. But the problem is, what you have to do is the things in between, because after you put the trade on. You do the analysis, and then you put the trade on. Okay, that's when that's when you have to stop looking at the chart. Go look at something else. I do not look at charts. I, I in fact, is someone just just uh, texted me the fact that the uh, the S and P was uh, now back below uh, 4,300 after hitting 4,306. 4,306 and 4,296 is incidental. It really is. I think we have a caller in today. My goodness, how did somebody get through here? From oh Michael, how are you? What can I do for you, my friend? Yeah, hi. Thanks for taking my call, Larry. Um, yes, I got a, a unique topic to discuss, and I want to look at allegedly uninvestable stocks. And I've got two on my list. The first one is the Hang Seng Index. What, whoa, whoa, whoa. Why do you mean? FXI. They're not uninvestable. You could trade those. Uh, no. You see, it's, I think, here's my theory. The FXI is, is doing a number like the, the market vectors Russia index did back in November 2021 when it topped out and, and it just started to precipitously drop and fall and fall through November, December, January into the Ukraine invasion. So yeah. obviously somebody in Moscow knew that there was going to be war. And now we see these, these sudden drops in the Hang Seng Index. Maybe the Hong Kong elite know something that we don't know. Possible invasion of Taiwan. Well, you're starting to think of things beyond my pay grade, Val, because that doesn't make any sense. I mean, I, I do. I don't trade either one of those, but I do watch them. And we did have Could a pretty good chance. Oh, is, I, is the sure. chart ominous? No, it's just bearish. They're both bearish, both the Chinese market and the Hang Seng. The Hang Seng has a, a much lower a price objective than the than the Chinese market. But you know, remember the stuff, the the things that come out of China, uh, the news and stuff. You, you don't know what that news is. I mean, they 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 massage it just as badly as we do, for heaven's sakes. So mm -hmm. I I, see, okay. I don't think of things like that, Mike, because. You're a very deep thinker, which is great, but I'm not. I just look at the chart and I say, okay, where do I think it's doing? And it's making lower uh -huh. tops and lower bottoms, so I know it's in a bear market. Uh -huh. So I want to look to be a seller in both of those. That's all I need to know. Uh -huh. And believe me, I talk to Hong Kong every single day. Every day. Every and, day. And, not, they're not, they're, and there's no talk about war, nothing, nope. like, no, like nothing not, at all? Nothing. No, nothing <laughs> like that at all. And I talked, and I'm. these are, these are, these are people that are big hitters. I mean, these are not one lot traders. You know, they run hedge funds and and other things. You know, private monies and stuff. But they're very, very uh, influential and very sophisticated. And they don't even consider that. I I don't see how that would be uh, a factor. I know the Chinese are not going to do anything about Hong Kong because that's how that's their uh, way to their open air to the world. Is that you know the Chinese uh, officials can go through Hong Kong to go anywhere else in the world, whereas going from China to other places they're blocked. So that's not going to change. Oh, I didn't know that. Much. Yeah, that's true. They 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 certainly do that. That's why the, one of the largest banks in the world is HSBC, Hang Seng Shanghai Bank. Oh, I didn't know. Uh, and how about Taipei? You have a uh, contacts there in Taiwan? No. I've been there once. Not I had a connect. I had a connecting flight, but uh, no, I don't have Mike. Believe it or not, I don't have any contacts anywhere. I mean, I really don't. And even even if I did, I don't I don't know if I would believe. I, in all my years, Mike, I swear to God, as my mother is sitting next to my side here and my good friend Mark Douglas behind me, I have never gotten any information that proved to be valuable in trading. None. Zero. Huh. Bupkis. The charts, okay. that's okay. The second uninvestable said, stock is 3M. Minnesota M Mining and Manufacturing. M. Could you look at that chart? 
Yeah, I can bring that up. Hold on just a second here. We might have to take a break, but if we miss the break, you stay with us because you're always uh, kind enough to call in, which puts you on the preferred <laughs> list. I, I remember 3M. That's out of uh, Rochester, Minnesota, as I recall. And yeah. um, they made scotch tape and all that kind of stuff and hasn't been doing good recently. But, uh, wow, that's yeah. an understatement of the year. Holy cow. That is that, real. That's why oh, I wanted goodness. to talk about the chart. Well, it's dropped dropped more in half. Oh my goodness! Yeah, this uh, well, it's up. It's up had off of a little bottom here today. Let, let me bring this chart up so the rest of the folks can uh, take a peek at it. But uh, boy, this has really gotten. Uh, there's a perfect example of you know the rest of the market going straight up, and here was a great stock uh -huh. that is. Uh, uh, they've got some major problems either with products or something's going on there because this this is a huge uh, break. I mean, it's uh -huh. dropped sixty percent in the last uh, two years. So that that's not uh -huh. that's not a very good return when everything else goes straight up. Could you post a weekly or monthly? Could you give us some projections? Uh, yeah, let me put a monthly chart up. We gotta take a break here. And then I'll yeah, bring up the daily. monthly. Okay, I'm gonna bring up the monthly. So we'll be right back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back with Mike uh, talking about uh, 3M. Mike, I just posted the monthly chart, and by golly, that's just completed a, a beautiful A, B, C, D at the 78% level, and that's why it's probably up about... Uh, two or three percent from just a few days ago because that is a completed pattern 
So it looks like okay. it's getting ready to have some type of a, maybe a considerable rally. That I don't know. And if we break that 78 level, what, where's the oh, oh, Well, they're going to go a lot lower. There's something wrong with the stock. I don't think there's any question. Whenever you have a stock that's doing the exact opposite of what the rest of the market is doing, somebody knows yeah. something about the stock. There's no question about uh -huh. that. I mean, look at the banking stocks that had all that trouble, uh -huh. right? I mean, they knew what was going on over there. Hello, operator. You don't have to be a rocket scientist. So look at the chart. If prices are going up, things are okay. Prices are going down, maybe not so okay. That's what you got to know. I mean, you don't, you're not going to get in the inside of this stuff. They're not going to tell Mike or Larry what they're doing. Not a chance uh -huh. in heck, you know. Okay, so say we break this uh, this, this recent low. What, what's your next downside target for Triple M? It'll go down and match the lows of a year and a half ago, which is down around uh, – Looks like it's around around seventy, around sixty dollars a share. That's ten years ago. Well, it don't make any difference. That's where it could go. <laughs> what at what price level would you consider this stock uh, bankrupt? No, I I don't know, don't know, I don't know. Talk that that that. There's another one way past my pay grade, Mike. Those something I don't. Uh, first of all, I don't trade stocks. I just look at the charts. All I know is it's got yeah, good support you can, here. You can you can conduct a measured move, okay? Like when you have an A to B, B to C, C to D, yes. it breaks the D and it continues down. You can do another uh, projected uh, measured move to the downside. Yes, yes you can. So That's correct. Could, could we go to the 2009 low? Yes, we could. There, that's, that's a good way to 50%. do it. Now, now remember. Go ahead. That's another fifty percent. That's correct. It could easily do that. Look and see what other stocks have done. This is no different than any other. It's got some problems. There's no question about it. Yeah, and eventually it would be kicked out of the Dow Jones. Dow Jones, uh, is, right? So is it still in the Dow Jones? I, I, well, I know it's in the S and P, but. Uh, and that I don't know if it's still in the Dow Jones or not. I happen to know something about this stock because uh, in 1960, my friend Tommy John had just signed a contract with the Cleveland Indians and he got a $60,000 bonus. And his dad, Tom Sr., uh, put yeah. some of his money into uh, 3M. But that's when it was trading for about $16 a share at the time. I don't know. I guess I, I, I fact is when I do talk to Tom, we never talk about investments and stuff. But I know through the first 20 years of his uh, baseball career, you know, that's when the market from 60 to 1980, you know, the market started yeah. to go up and then he got really involved. So he's made a lot of money investing. But again, uh -huh. you know, he, he only looks at really quality stocks that are that are, you know, that are going up. But this one's certainly not acting good. There's a bunch of blue chips, you know, we've talked about just not behaving well. You know, it's being distorted yeah. by the Magnific Magnificent Seven. <laughs> That's exactly the Magnificent Seven is a good description of what we're looking at, my friend. That's uh, a. Yeah. That's basically what I'm looking at here too. So I hope that helps because I, I, you know, I, I don't try to fool anybody that I don't do stocks. I look at stock charts because they're no different than anything else. But I don't, I, they just don't have the leverage or the volatility that I like to see with currencies and gold and silver and stuff yeah. like that. That's the only reason. Okay, thank you very much. Hey, listen, much. Th thanks for joining us, my friend. Yaksimash, dobje. Okay. That's Mike from Niagara, formerly of Niagara Falls, now out of Poland. Very nice young man. Let's take a look at a couple other charts here that I wanted to bring to your attention. By the way, uh, it looks like in the last couple of minutes here, the uh, S&P has now rolled over, and we have a, a small profit in that, which is uh, good, to, to, good to feel. And we, we covered our a short gold position. It's had a pretty good rally, but we still think we're going to go down a little bit more. But we reached our first objective down there today, so we want to be able to look at it. I'm going to switch gears here for just a second because I mentioned this in the video that I sent out over the weekend because, you know, my my subscribers and my friends and stuff, you know, we missed that, that soybean move by having our stop uh, right there on the bottom. But what we had over the weekend, folks, was a 382 retracement of the high we made, you know, six weeks ago. So this was nothing more, and you can see we started to back off. Now, this back off that we're looking at right now, that has got what we call in Italy a microscopic view. We're going to be looking at this with a very, very, very close eye here over the next three or four days. 
because if we can get just the right pattern, and I mean, you know which one I'm talking about, that's the one we want to be watching very, very closely. We're seeing the same thing in wheat. As a matter of fact, when I started the show here, I was really surprised that the wheat, corn, and beans had all turned lower because they had been sharply higher right at those 3A2 levels, and uh, now they're starting to uh, to back off a little bit. The other thing that you know we mentioned when we're doing these things, the reason why I don't put like 10 trades on is I, I realize most of you folks that – you know, belong to trade what you see. You have smaller accounts, you know, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars and stuff. And so you can't put four or five things on. So I try to pick the ones that look the best, that give the best possible, uh, you know, return for the amount of money that you have to invest. And that that's all I'm that's all I'm doing. I'm not doing anything more uh, or less than that. That's the main thing that I'm watching. Uh, by the way, on that crude oil, that low that we made here. Let's just get this up here. The low that we made here. Uh, three days ago, uh, when we were here last uh, thir uh, last Friday, I believe it was, that was, let's get this up here so we can see it, that was a perfect 61% retracement, folks. And, you know, that was a big move. And, of course, with the news out, bang, up it went here. All it did was take out the highs of the last few days and then back off a little bit. This was nothing more than a little 382 retracement. So just because the Saudis are dropping production, we saw what they did before, didn't make any difference. The price of the stuff went down. That means demand is what's going on. The one that you need to pay attention to, and I know a lot of you will, and that is this cattle market. The cattle is a big traded. It's a very heavily traded market by the funds. And everybody else, and I don't trade it often, but sometimes I do. But look at this. We've gone up, and we have matched where we were in 2014, folks. That's nine years ago. Look where look where cattle has gone to, and look where it is right now. We've taken out those highs. Now, is that going to mean demand is going to be uh, coming into play again or supply? I mean, I don't know. All I'm doing is I'm just watching the pattern. If I see a pattern that's tradable, in the cattle, where I don't have to risk very much, and very much is four or five hundred dollars, that's going to be a trading opportunity for me. That's that's really, that's really all we're that's really all we're talking about. So, that's uh, that's the main thing of why we're looking at these things here today. So I hope that pays a lot of attention to you because I uh, I, I don't I don't know which of the wow they really got these stocks or S and P's almost down on the day now. Shut the front door and raise a rent. That's a nice one. Okay, let's move on here. Um, let's get back up here for just a second. I wanted to uh, go into one other thing here on some of these other stock indices that people have asked me about. And one of them, of course, is the Russell. And we'll be right back uh, with that when we come back from our break. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. 
These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today. And try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, uh, this is the Russell Index. You can see here on Friday we broke above the 3A2 for the first time. That gave a profit objective of up to the 50%, but it couldn't even take out Friday's high, and now we're quite a bit below the 3A2 again. So we've hit it one, two, three, four, five, six times, and without any really big uh, breakout to the upside. So uh, people have asked me, you know, uh, why. I have a tendency uh, to be bearish, folks. I, I I don't really care bullish or bearish. I just look at the patterns. That's all I'm trying to do. And the one that scares me the most is that one with those uh, stocks. The uh, he called it, Mike called it the Magnificent Seven, and by gosh, that's what they should be called because they're a big group of stocks that, that go straight up. But I would look at this chart here that was sent to me by one of our subscribers. But if you look at this going back all these years, you can see here's where the real market is, okay? And look look, look where these seven stocks are. If you own these seven stocks, you've made a lot of money. But if you haven't, you know, it's your, your, they left you at the, at the, at the altar. But look at, look at the pat price patterns, folks. There's an ABCD pattern right up in this area right here. There's another ABCD pattern right here. And that, my folks, is a one, two, three drive to a top pattern. Was it going to work? I don't know. All I'm doing is I'm just looking at the S&P. I'm looking at the Dow. I don't trade the Nasdaq. I traded it once. Uh, I occasionally I do it, and but uh, the other day, remember, we back on the 28th on May 28th, I tried it. It didn't work. Capped up and continued to go higher. That's when the news of uh, uh, Nvidia came out. And of course, Nvidia is a little bit lower than it was back then. It hasn't made new highs, but it's still early. But, you know, so much is based on what's happening with Apple nowadays that it's really important to pay, you know, very, very close attention to me. <laughs> Frankly, I'm, I'm watching the stock market because just for certain patterns, but the market that's got me the most interesting, uh, my attention more than anything else, is the grain markets. I mean, I'm looking at corn, wheat, and beans, and unless the, the, work, the world is going to stop eating and go on a massive diet, we're going to have one heck of a rally in here, folks. Look at wheat here. Just get this up here. This is the Christmas, de December wheat. This is, this is one of my favorites, okay? All I'm waiting for is a little... Little chance to get back in again. There's a perfect A, B, C, D. Now remember, this was when it was 1350 a bushel. Now it's 610 a bushel. That was the low. The actual low was 608 and three quarters. The A, B, C, D measured to 610. We rallied about 35 cents from that level. So we're watching what happens. But we had a double, actually a triple A, B, C, D. There's one A, B, C, D is one. A, B, C, D is two. And A, B, C, D is three. That's why I was so uh, so bullish on it at that time, just watching those patterns. Now, 
you remember back here when it was 1350 and it was going limit up and I tried to explain somebody this is where you want to be selling and <laughs> look at this there was your 382 retracement six months later you had a really good chance to get in it whoever thought it could drop in half again but it did and that's what these things do they repeat over and over again and they do it with re with such precision that sometimes it's flat out scary looking at what uh, what these things are doing now artificial intelligence okay is supposed to be a new paradigm it's going to be something that is going to be uh, similar to blockchains or other things like that but it is uh, just it's got the ear of everybody and so all I'm doing is I'm asking myself the question and I'm going to look into this a little bit more uh, ask some really smart people of why this ETF W T A I that's wisdom tree artificial intelligence ETF why is it not being able to sp go screaming above the 382 here when we've got Nvidia Broadcom Microsoft Amazon Meta all of them are going I mean into the stratosphere and this thing's not even moving. What are these guys invested in? They must be in live hogs or, or you know, some of these uh, wheat, uh, wheat, wheat trades or something like this. I mean, they can't be invested in artificial intelligence in the chart looking like this. What am I missing here? That's why it's hard for me to understand this because I'm not a stock trader, and I'm sure there's a reason behind it, and someone's going to tell me what that is, but until they do, I don't know what it is. I'm just giving you... Uh, you know, a reasoning behind it. Someone asked me yesterday in our, in our poker tournament that uh, about that stuff, and they asked me about WTA. I had I, I looked at it. I saw the the uh, uh, first time I'd even seen a uh, uh, commercial for it. But then I looked at it and say, well, why is it doing that? And so, trying to find out myself. But again, you know, I look at things a little more. Uh, with a jaundiced eye as I get lower, uh, older, okay? There's another market that I'm extremely bullish on, and that is the silver market. I want to get this up to you. Well, it's been bearish lately, but I think we're getting, uh, not quite yet, but uh, I'd like to see gold down to 1905. We're trading at 1975 right now. And but anyway, you can see we had the 382 retracement here in silver. It's backed off quite a bit. But if we could get silver down into this area right here, which would equal this move right here, that's what we're waiting for in gold, is to make that 1905, 1910 level in the gold market. Then we'll have a really good chance to buy gold without risking very much at all. Uh, the 2 p.m. Uh, 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 hold on just a second. Uh, hold on just a minute. They're asking me a question here. I'm going to try. Uh, I don't know if I can do that or not. Uh, okay. Anyway, that's what we're watching. Let, since we're talking about that, let me get the uh, let me get the chart of the uh, gold up so you can see the same thing that uh, that I want you to see here, and that's this level right here in the gold. Just get this up here. And we'll see where we are. And there it is, uh, right here. That's what we're that's what we're looking at, right here. This area in the, in the gold. See, there was a 382 where we were able to get short back last Thursday. It dropped uh, 45 bucks. We took 35 dollars from that. So that's it. We got another caller, two callers, and one day shut the front door and raised the rent. How did that person ever get through? And it's Charlie from Massachusetts. Charlie, what can I do for you, my friend? Good afternoon, Larry. You've asked that question about what WTAI and what's in it. I want yeah. to share with you what I've what I found. Okay. Yes. Okay. Two point five percent is Nvidia. Okay. Two point two one is advanced micro devices. Um. It does have technology. There's another thing in here that shows that it's 78% technology, about 7% communication, 6% uh, consumer cyclical, 4% wow. healthcare, 4% industrials, and a half a percent financials. Wow. See, that's a misnomer to, to, to the advertisement. 
Meta's in there, Taiwan Semi's in there, SDM Electronics, Cadence, Microsoft. Yeah. Microsoft has only got about 2% of, of the holdings in this there. This is great. And, and Charlie, this holdings. makes my day. This makes my day. I'm going to talk about that when we get back. Thank you so much for calling in, my friend. I appreciate it. May God bless. Happy, happy day out, Larry. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. We have exciting news, Tigers. This June, Tim Ord of the Ord Oracle will be hosting two webinars, providing insight into his renowned market timing methodologies. On June 8th, Tim will delve into the S&P 500, teaching sentiment indicators, identifying market bottoms and divergence, and so much more. On June 15th, Tim pivots to the gold market, taking a look at cycle analysis, ratio studies, advanced decline indicators, and other important tools for analyzing this sector. Sign up today on TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I posted this chart of this WTAI, and I really want to thank Charlie from Massachusetts uh, for calling in and doing the work for me. But basically, folks, this darn thing, they call it artificial intelligence in the uh, WTAI. Uh, believe me, the, the amount of money, of your money, that's going to be put in artificial intelligence, 2.5% was uh, for an NVIDIA, and there's a couple others in there, but maybe 10% of the money that you're putting in is supposed to be an AI, and so many other things are involved in this thing. That's not good, that's not good advertising, but, you know, people don't, don't look into it and I that I'm really happy that Charlie did that because there's a perfect example uh, there's your answer why the darn things at the 382 because it's not all artificial intelligence it's a very small part so that's that's a perfect example but I want to thank Charlie for bringing that in uh, to my attention because I think it's important 
that you look at these things and try to find out, you know, what they're doing. You know, like Mike asked questions about, you know, war and Taiwan and all this other stuff. Those things don't interfere. That that doesn't affect me, folks. I mean, I'm not interested in that because all I want to do is see the chart. If I can see the chart and the pattern, that's all I need to do. I've spent my whole life doing that. I'm certainly not going to change now. I've never gotten any inside information that worked. Oh, I got a lot of it that never worked. But I certainly – if you remember the book – Reminiscences of a stock stop operator in Old Westlake, and I lived in Westlake Village. The guy's name was Old Westlake, and he would come in and give his his, his touts all the time. And uh, the guy said, "God, don't listen to him. He's wrong every time." And Jesse Livermore said, "Are you crazy? He's right every time. All you have to do is reverse of what he said you were going to do. If he says buy, you sell. If he says sell, you buy." He said, "Old Westlake is a hundred percent, and a lot of that sometimes is the way it is." Anyway. What we're going to do now is we're going to uh, wind this show up today, and we'll see you tomorrow. May God bless.